Hi Pisces and welcome to your reading for February 2022. We'll start by picking you a card from this deck here. You are the Queen of Swords. Rolling into February like the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is the survivor of the tarot. She's also really adept at making healthy boundaries for herself. Hmm. On her throne we see a butterfly and an eagle. So she is ready to soar. She has transformed her mind. She now understands more about herself, about the situation that she's dealing with, and is ready to make some decisions. Judgment. Yep, that's the opportunity here. So like I said, a new level of self-awareness for you, Pisces. And then your challenge is the Knight of Swords. Interesting. You might feel eager, let's say, to um, make some changes in your life when I feel like the real opportunity this month is to dwell within this um, nurturing center of self-awareness, of reflection, um, and understanding how we are thinking now about the decisions that will come in the future. Um, another possible challenge for you, Pisces, is that um, there will be the need to make a swift decision, as in suddenly something appears and you will, you will be called to rely upon um, your truth center, your sense of um, honor or um, your integrity in order to make this decision. Five of swords above, page of swords below. A lot of swords here, a lot of thinking. The lovers in the past And the King of Pentacles as the outcome. Hmm. I believe that a decision was made in the past. And I think that it was a difficult decision to make, but you did it anyway. And so um, you might be feeling the effects of that. Maybe you're judging yourself about a decision you had made in the past. Um, but it looks like whatever this decision was, it has led to your security or stability. Um, or maybe it's getting you closer to somebody who is a part of a more stable future for you. Somebody who's very secure. We have the Three of Cups, the Seven, uh, sorry, the Four of Swords, the Ten of Swords. Look at all these swords. You're really clarifying some things for yourself in the month of February. And then the Emperor as the outcome. Aries energy. I think you're overthinking something, Pisces. Uh, some, something that happened to you in the past, or like I said, a decision that you've made has is leading to some sort of greater stability. And I think that you are generally in a mode of celebration right now, but I feel like somewhere in the back of your mind, you're wondering if you did the right thing. Let's pull some more cards for clarification here. What is this choice revolving around? What does this choice have to do with? The moon, there you are. I was wondering when you would show up. Eight of wands. Queen of Wands. Okay. It's like you used your, your intuitive sense to make a decision. And maybe you don't know yet why you made the... Maybe you, you made a gut... You made a gut instinct um, decision on something here. And it was so fast that you don't yet understand how you came to the conclusion that you did. But, I, but you're showing up here as the Queen of Swords expert level discernment here but not uncompassionate i feel like there's that double-edged sword of the month of february is 
um, dwelling upon trying to understand the decision that had been made and yet at the same time wanting to be able to rely on your intuitive sense and capabilities. Sometimes it's just that and you have to trust that um, our, our gut instincts are there to guide us in ways that our other senses um, are not able to. And so I think you are starting to realize this, but I think you need to spend more time in meditation, um, in a sense of rest so that you can begin to understand more or clue yourself into this sense. Because magic starts with the mind. What we think becomes our reality. And so I think that you are not only maybe realizing how this is very true for you, and so you need to stop dwelling on the doubt of how you're able to um, sense a situation out quickly. It's because you do have self-awareness, even if you don't know what that sense is. I think that this decision had to do with something uh, revolving around a friendship that you have. Um, I think that it was a frustrating situation with a friend possibly that had to be resolved quite quickly. And so you may have made a decision that didn't make, that, re that did resolve the situation, but maybe um, they weren't quite as pleased as um, they wanted to be or that you wanted everyone to be you know for a good outcome for everybody and sometimes that's just not possible I think what you want is um, to be friendly with everybody and to celebrate you know all the things that life has to offer with as many people as possible you are a very social sign and you're very open to experiences um, at the same time I think you've learned how to stand up for yourself. That's what these boundaries are, are for. So, yeah, like I said, what's showing up here in your environment, the Four of Swords, is the more time you spend in contemplation and meditation this month, you will start to ease your mind and put, your, put those worries behind you in the sense that you now understand what needs to be done for the future um, so that you can grow in a more stable flow of your own energy and your own um, trust, trusting yourself, trusting your own sense. And so in that sense, this for you this month, Pisces, I see you really um, moving forward uh, with a lot of confidence, knowing that the decision to protect yourself um, or to set healthy boundaries is not a reflection of how you treat other people because I think that you there's there's nothing here about um, treating people with disrespect or being manipulative in any sense if anything I think you're over sensitive and overly aware of how when you make decisions for yourself how it can have the potential to negatively affect other people and this may be your lesson for this month is to say, I mean you no harm, but just please respect my sense of, of how I want to be treated. I'm going to treat myself this way. So let's see the stability here. What are you, what, are, what is really your goal? What is your goal here? Pisces, for the month of February, what's on your mind? King of Cups, yep. Knight of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, you know, I get the sense that you really, like, you don't want to be taken advantage of. I think that you have um, developed a very stable, steady inner core for yourself. Um, so if you've had um, been developing your sense of self-awareness, it's really showing. The King of Cups, somebody who's really in tune with, with their emotions, 
No storm can shake the king of cups. Doesn't matter what you throw at them. Knight of Pentacles, the card of routine and hard work, diligence. And the Ten of Pentacles, again, another cycle card, like closing out, completing something tangible and or at least you know something that's this self-awareness is producing tangible results in your life uh, when i see the four of swords and the knight of pentacles together that brings me back to this idea of a meditative practice i have pisces i think that this would be a really great thing for you to try or maybe it's showing up because you have been meditating more. And there's that emotional center. Um, the Ten of Pentacles is also a card of legacy and family. So if that's on your mind, you know, how can I be more centered? Um, how can I center myself more and make better decisions for me and my family, for example? Let's see here. Uh, please clarify the Ten of Swords, please. Knight of Wands, the Fool, Three of Swords. Yeah, so in terms of hopes and fears, right, the Ten of Swords, at best, rejuvenating oneself, rejuvenating the spirit. And there is a sense of adventure here as well. The Knight of Wands comes to clarify, and so, do the th so does the Three of Swords. This just tells me that you are really, again, trying to understand the spirit of your motivations. You don't want to be the cause of your or someone else's pain. You never want to be that person, Pisces. So sometimes making decisions, knowing that not everyone wins, there is bravery associated with this kind of pain that the Three of Swords indicates. And maybe this feels new to you, and maybe it feels like a bit um, brash, but this is your lesson, okay, for the month of February, is knowing how to make the decision that is right for you. So regardless if this is a decision that has been made in the past that now you're dwelling on, or this is an upcoming um, situation, a decision that will come this month, um, unclear. What I'm seeing, though, is that this is where your mind space is at. And so I think that you're really trying to rejuvenate your sense, um, sort of your sense of logic here and needing to back that up with something deeper within you, your sense of self. You do that, I think you're golden. So yeah, that's what I have for you Pisces for the month of February. I hope that this helps. Like and subscribe to uh, the channel if you did like it. I thank you so much for your time and I'll see you on the next one.